the rainbow is a sign he's gonna he's gonna destroy mankind with fire the next time but messiah those that are alive in christ who will never die the second death the judgments of God, the anger of God, the fury of God, a day of God's vengeance and recompense. I'm not under the wrath of God. No, I was under the wrath of God, but I'm not a hypocrite. No, I don't offend God anymore. If I were to, God forbid. If I don't turn the other cheek, if I don't walk in humility, if I offend God, I don't sin habitually. No, no, no. I could turn my back on God. God warned me not to turn. He said, turn back and walk. March. Fight the good fight of faith. I love you. I don't want you to go to hell's gates. He died for the, for the dragons. He died for the sodomites. He died for those in rebellion. Yeah, I know. You want to flip this? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the light of life is Jesus Christ. And I know you want to block the speaker. I gotta. I can just go get six more speakers, and we can just really drag this on. Over. Yeah, yeah. It's no problem. I just want to preach freedom of speech. You can preach all your poison and do whatever you choose to do. Hallelujah. So we'll just turn up the speaker. Okay. Excuse me. Can you move out of the way of the speaker? Who are you working for? A crew member for what you, who are you working for? The, the Broadway crew. Well, yeah, you are working for the devil, obviously, but you don't have to. You can submit to the authority of the Word of God. I'm used to this. I got punched in the face right here in Times Square. That's right. I've been arrested. I'm not worried. I've been shot at before. I'm not worried. I've been threatened to be stabbed, threatened. That's right. Spit upon. I'm not worried about it. So you're working for this company? Are you working right now, sir? I know you're working for the devil. Are you working for the are you, you working for Broadway crew right now? You are. So they approve of this nonsense? Oh, yeah. Oh, they do, huh? Okay. Well, okay. You, 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 don't, you sure they don't know me, man? You have no idea. You're not worth knowing. Oh, no. No, no. But I can just make it where I can stand right in front of your theater. Oh, no. You guys have no idea. I can bring a crew here to preach the word of God loud and clear. So the light of life is Jesus. I can pull out the bull one. Which show are you working for? I'm not here for this nonsense. I'm here to declare the kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. Welcome to the streets of New York. We have freedom of speech, freedom to preach, freedom to teach, freedom to reach the lost and dying. But Many are going to be crying in hell because they will not submit to the Lion of Zion, the Lion of Judah, Yeshua, Messiah is coming back to, to sever the fools, to sever the wicked. The judgment of God, the curse of God is on the house of the wicked and the lamp of the wicked will be snuffed out. I don't have any doubt for one day. You've already paid the price. You're not alive in Christ. You can receive the gift of God. But you need to plead the blood of Jesus Christ. You, you, there's no peace. There's no rest for the wicked. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, please. So you're working, you call your supervisor? I am the supervisor. Yeah, so who's your boss? That's fine. All right. Am I not allowed to stand here? No, no, it's not that. You know what you're doing, you hypocrite. How are you doing that? You know what you're doing, you hypocrite. You know what you're doing. You're, you're trying to hinder my free speech, man. I didn't do anything. Yes, you are. Oh, just, just, just let me preach, man. Please, you do what you do. Let me do what I do. No, because basically what you're doing is harassment when you're pointing... This is a public at park. This is no, no, a public no, no, park. Hear me out. Hear me out. This is a public hear park. Me out. No, I don't need to hear you. It's a public okay. park. I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. You're going to keep what? Locking my speaker? Yeah. No, okay. All right. What's your name? Kevin. Kevin, nice to meet you, Kevin. What a what a what an honor it is to warn you and to give you the good news, Kevin. Yeah, yeah, to warn you. You're going to hell, man. You don't care, right? No, no, you have no no you no fear at all. No fear of God. You hate God. Yeah, actually. You hate God. You hate God. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a dead religion. God in His love sent His Son for you. Not, not for a dead religion. 
What's that, man? Son of the living God gave his life for you. Yeah, yeah. He's alive. He was crucified, died, made alive that you might have life. Nah, I just don't think he existed either. Well, regardless of what you believe, it's ridiculous. You're going to believe one day. No. I hope it doesn't take no. the flames of hell. No. Jesus paid the price that you don't have to rebel. You can walk in life. You can walk in love. You can have peace with God. Uh -huh. I know. These no, guys don't want to play with me either. He I'm going to come with the bigger bullhorn and just preach louder and louder and louder. But see, I usually don't try it. I usually, though. it's not harassment. It's, harassment. it's freedom of speech it's to preach. It's harassment when you're doing it to people that can't move. Because you guys choose to come into Duffy Square, which is a public park. It is commercialized. That's a public park. Well, that's TKTF. Right? That's a public park. So and you've commercialized it. You, no, it doesn't matter. It's a public so square. To commercialization it's a public for, park. Exactly? It's a pub to preach. To exercise my freedom of speech okay. to preach freely oh, in a public it. park. Go ahead, do it. Well, this is a public park, Kevin. It's a public park. It's weird because this is a public I, park I, I that you guys have commercialized. But this is a public park. Right, so I can be wherever I want to be, right? Well, you can be wherever you want to be, but you're trying to hinder me. No, no, no. And obstruct me. Yes, you are. Of course you are. But I'm going to keep preaching. Are you saying that's illegal? Uh, to, to, to some, to, 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 I don't give you a call the cops. Okay. I'm not worried about the cops. No problem. I know some of them personally. I'm not worried about the cops. Yeah, so so what? So this is a public park. Do you know there's, there's lawsuits being filed, right, for all this nonsense, this commercial? This is a public this park. This isn't going anywhere. It's been here 50 years. No, I know it's not going to go anywhere. So? Because they, it, but it's not proper what they're I'm doing. I'm about commercialization. I know you don't care. I know, I know. All right. Well, I'm going to keep preaching. Listen, you can talk, bro. We're not telling you you can't talk. That's your first You can't tell me. You really can't tell me anything. No, no, no I'm not I, I going took, anywhere. You can't. You can't because you're no, going to float on. You're obstructing the floor. No, it doesn't matter. I'm not. I'm, no, this is, is a public it? park. How does that not matter? It's a public park. No, all right. But just like it's a public there park. Rules, though. There are rules, is, The rules, you're this is blocking. This is all obstructing. Tickets is blocking. This is a frozen. I'm not blocking. You can call your supervisor. Mr. Ford, M. Ford Morgan, please, man. Clearly, you can read. I'm good. I'm not going to Stop. Go to the other side. Uh, it doesn't matter. I'm not going to obey you. TSA, right? Did I'm you not going to move. Stop? No, no, All no. All that stuff was you can continue preaching, but yeah. you can. I'm going to keep preaching. It doesn't matter what you say, sir. Yeah, I love matter. you. I respect you as a person, that's, that's but not this. Because he acts as if he runs the place. No, no, I just have my little place no, right here. I have my little, the dancers have a place, they have a place, they have a place, a public park. But look at where the dancers are. They have a pub. side. I'm not going to go next to them. They're doing their thing. I'm doing what I'm doing. You're doing what you're doing. That so was, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing, guys. And we, when do we stop you from doing what you're doing? You're stopping you stop no, no, right no, no, now. No, no, I don't no, want to no, talk no, to you no, anymore. No. All right, but I'm talking to you. I don't care about what you want. No. At the end of so the let day, me keep preaching then. At the end of the day, you're obstructing their line. No, I'm not. You're disres no, excuse me. You're disrupting their it's line. It's free speech. you're obstructing the flows. The heckler's so veto doesn't stop the message. Doesn't matter. I'm not doing anything wrong. You can go anywhere. The federal courts have ruled in the favor. The heckler's veto doesn't stop the message, guys. Just because they're offended. I have freedom of speech. Why here, though? Lots of people. Souls. No, Jesus said, go. I go. I just spend so much time in the subway. I preach all over the place. There are more people over there, though. But, like, why So go back to the here? subway. No, I can go wherever I want. Not because you no, no, tell me, no, no, you no, no, stupid no, no, fool. It doesn't matter right what you guys tell me. No, why? It doesn't matter what you... I'm not obstructing anything. You're you obstructing. Are. You're you standing in a walkway. I'm going to keep this preaching, guys. This is a well, walkway. You I'm guys are going to Christians over here. Jesus yeah, yeah. Yeah, you cursed the name but, of Jesus. No, it's all right. It's all right. It's all right. It's cool. All right, guys. False prophet. You don't hear me asking for money. I don't beg for money. I don't ask for money. Yeah, yeah. Please call them. Because they want to take the First Amendment Yeah, yeah. All right, Kevin. Well, I'm going to keep preaching, sir. Go for it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's going to happen? You're going to block it. I'm going to turn it up loud and it becomes obnoxious. It. Man, I'm a DJ. I'm good. Yeah, yeah. You know, have no concern. You're on your way to hell, huh? Not at all. Not at all, yeah. You think it's a party in hell? No. You believe in hell? You believe in hell? No. You don't believe in hell, no? no. One day you will. Hopefully. Hopefully in paradise. Hopefully an everlasting life. Hopefully you either, obey man. Christ. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have no idea who I am, man. I don't care. 
Oh yeah, believe me, your bosses are not gonna be happy if I come and preach here all day. They're not gonna be happy. And I'm not scared of no cage. I'm not concerned about being arrested. I'm not worried about anything. Only God, I only fear God. I don't fear foolish men like you. How you doing with porn? Porn, pornography, how you doing with porn? Oh, it's great, I love it. You love porn, yeah. Typical, hypocrite. American devilish fool. Yeah. All right, Kevin, well, time to preach. All right, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So the son of the living God is Jesus. The Bible says that faith, without faith, it's impossible to please God. You won't enter the gates of God's kingdom in a dead religion. You will offend him. You need Jesus. Life is offensive, but Jesus. The son of the living God gave his life for us. John says, for God so loved the world. And that he gave his only begotten son. Who did he give? The son of the living God, Jesus Christ. The word of God became flesh. He died for the idolatrous, the adulterous, the fornicators, the thieves, died for the atheists, that you might believe, that you might receive and leave the satanic system, leave the false religion, and no longer offend the kingdom of God. The kingdom of heaven is near. The Bible says we must fear God, must obey God. All have gone astray. All have gone away from God. But the Son of the living God gave his life. The light of life, the giver of life, the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back like a thief in the night. You won't be laughing if you're not a daughter of God, if you don't submit to the Christ. It's time to be a son of the living God, to walk in the light of life. There's forgiveness in Christ. But you got to stop resisting God. you got to stop rejecting the word of God and believe and trust in the son of the living God. Jesus Christ gave his life blood from the top of his head. Jesus said, you must be born again. He died on the tree. Before he died for humanity, he said these three words, it is finished. There was a thief that believed. You can believe, you can receive, you can be made free, you can be clean in the eyes of God. You're not clean, you're condemned by God. You've offended the most high God, but Jesus Christ has made a way. The son of the living God is alive today. His blood is alive, he's made a way. You don't have to offend God, you can be alive in Christ. The resurrection and the life. Son of the living God, that's right. You can be born of God. You can be brought back to God. You know, I know he wants you to go get a poster board. I'm just going to go get the bullhorn. Put it on a stick. And it's going to be difficult for you. It's going to be difficult for you. It's not going to be that easy. I have a job. You guys are doing your job. I have my job. Freedom of speech. Never. I'm not asking for money. Don't preach for money. Don't love money. I love God. God, the God of heaven's armies. God Almighty. Good God Almighty. You provoke the jealousy of God. You're greedy like a dog. Dead in your sin, but you can be alive in Christ. You can be forgiven. Not by your religion, by the living Word of God. You can mix faith with the Word of God. That's right. The risen Christ is the Word of God. The giver of life. Light of life. The way, the truth, and the life. The Son of the living God gave His life blood for you. That's right. Why did Christ die for you? For me, on a tree at Calvary. That you might be free. That you might walk in liberty. There's forgiveness in Christ. There's newness of life. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Today is the day to have your sins washed away. Jesus Christ has made a way that you might not be a slave to Satan. You might no longer hate God. No longer offend God. That you might walk with God and talk with God. The Son of the living God gave his life for you. 
That's right. That you stop taking sides with the devil. He died for you. The light of life wants to revive you. Wants to change you, wants to heal you. Welcome to America. We have freedom of speech. Still have a constitution to preach on the streets, regardless if you, whatever you believe. You can speak freely, I can speak freely. Men would rather commit thievery and idolatry and robbery towards God. You rob God. God gives gifts. Your lips are a gift from God, your natural life, but you hate God. Some of you hate the Christ. You hate the light. You need to come to the mastery and dominion of the Christ, the authority of the Word of God. That's right, the religious hated Christ. Hypocrites hate Christ. The thieves, they don't want to walk in the light. Jesus Christ said they hate the light. You offended God, you can die tonight. That's right, God is able to cripple and make a lie. God is able to, the earth is cursed. You can't blame everything, of course not. Everything is God, it's your fault. It's your fault that you're cursed because you've sinned against God. Jesus Christ breaks the curse. But the curse of God is upon the house of the wicked. That's right. Your wickedness, your life is offensive. You've offended God. But Jesus Christ is the way back to God. He's the light of life, the risen Christ, the giver of life. Oh, I can hear it loud and clear. Jesus Christ, it's time to be sincere. It's time to repent and draw near to God. It's time to prepare the way. Jesus Christ has made a way. No, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna listen to you, sir. Please, I gotta keep preaching. No, I'm not doing it any worse. You're not doing it well. No, sir. No. I'm not blocking anything. I'm standing right here. I'm just saying, right here is not a good spot. No, this is a good spot. It's a perfect spot. See, look at they're listening right here. There's one person listening. Two, three, four people listening. Sir, are you listening? The man's listening. Yo, they're standing right there listening. They want to hear so much that they're standing so close to the speaker, they're touching it, some of them. There's four of them listening. Just that, tell your supervisor who it is. They're going to tell you just that. Don't worry about me. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. Hallelujah to the light of life. You don't have to believe Christ. You don't have to come to the light. You're commanded to. You're demanded to, but you choose. You choose life or you choose death. You're going to take your last step. You're going to look at they blocking the speaker on purpose. But this is what, this is what happens. The curse with the curse. It's done, it's done on purpose. Because they're godless, wicked, and perverse. The Bible warns a generation of vipers. Men have become like beasts, godless. God-haters. That's right. But you can come to the Savior. Saul of Tarsus thought he was helping God, working for God, but he wasn't helping God. And Paul the Apostle went on to serve God, to honor God, to fear God. He knew the terror of God. God is blinding. God gives eyesight. God gives life. God gives the gift of everlasting life. But you've got to come to the Christ. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. I'm just simply preaching. If you don't believe, why, why are you so, if you're an atheist, why, why are you so offended? If you think this is so ridiculous, if you, if you, if, if you don't, it's just, I'm just speaking from the Bible. Like 99%, 99.9 is just Bible. It's the number one bestseller, the B-I-B-L-E, 66 books given to humanity inspired by God. You can believe, you can receive, you don't have to receive. You can choose life, you can come to the Christ. But you're going to weep day and night in hell if you don't repent. Jesus was sent that you might not go to hell. This is not hell, but earth is cursed. Excuse me, but you can put God first. You don't have to be cursed. You can receive the blessing of God, but there's only one way back to God. But men are godless. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to keep preaching. They commercialize the public square. Right here, Duffy Square is a public square. But it's all commercialized. That's why they have the gates over here. This man's making money. Tickets is making money. They're blocking and obstructing right here to make money in this public square. This is actually a non-profit No, you're actually breaking federal law under the Constitution. <laughs> you are. But America, but New York City especially has a way to try to hinder free speech. That's just, just what they've done. It's happened in many, many public parks. It's the truth. It's a public park. I'm, it's not private property. I'm not in Macy's right now preaching. 
I know I can go to Macy's and talk to people, but I can get trespassed. But this is a public park, but it's been commercialized. And I understand we're in the end times. People love money. Okay, but Jesus said the love of money is the root of evil. I love God. He told you to keep it moving, huh? He told them to leave them alone. Yeah, they already know. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to die. I'm alive in Christ. But, but I've got a, a purpose and a plan and a mission that you might know Christ. Jesus came on a mission. I'm on a mission. I wasn't always this way. I didn't always behave this way. I was godless. I was hating God. But God changed me one day. I said yes to God. And Jesus, the living word of God, is the way. So welcome to Times Square. Times Square is a public park. That's right. Doesn't matter what the Alliance says or anyone says. It's a public park. And anywhere in public property, you can speak freely in America. Isn't that amazing? I can't preach like this in some, you know, in, in communist China. There's different parts. I can't. There's parts of Korea. I can't speak like this. I can't speak like this in some parts with Sharia law. I'm praise God. I'm in America to cry aloud, to spare not, to lift up my voice like a trumpet. It's loud. It's loud. And men are godless, men are Christless. The lawlessness will get grosser. The Bible warns of gross darkness. But Jesus is the light of life. I have Christ likeness. I turn, I turn the other cheek. I was here preaching one night. I got punched in the face. Just turn the other cheek. That's right. Someone tried to steal my speaker. I've been, I've been robbed before. Different things happen. But just keep preaching. I'm not laughing about it, but just keep going. I've already been warned by Jesus. Jesus said, you'll be hated of all men. There's a righteous remnant that don't hate me. Submit to the authority of the word of God. I'm just reminding you to turn back to God, to turn to God. You've got naked woman over here taking pictures. We're practically almost naked, right? You've got all this stuff, selling tickets to all this debauchery, idolatry. You've got a strip club. You've got all different things. You don't have a preacher? Of course you need a preacher too. This is like a zoo. It's like a, it's like a concrete jungle. Wicked beast. Slaves of the devil. They feast, they feast. You've got ghost guns on the streets, fentanyl epidemic on the streets. But you don't want to let the preacher preach, right? But you want to teach little Johnny to be Susie. I know the alphabet cartel might come for me. I already know. I already know. You think I don't know? I know what I know. I know what I've been through. I've been bruised. I've been abused. Uh, these sodomite devils. I understand. I, God gave man the rainbow. I know. You touch that equipment. You can go to... You, that's, that's private property. If you, if you try to rip and break that speaker... With the red coat on, I know with the red coat, you're being recorded, not just on that camera, you're being recorded. Now you get so angry. Yeah, if you touch that speaker, it's, it's private property. I know you don't care. Wait, is it private or public? Because you said both. Private property, the, the speaker that she talked about breaking earlier. Oh, who broke it? Oh, who? No, no one broke it. Well, you talked about it. You're being recorded. You're being recorded. God's recording you. I love you. I ain't worried about you. I'm worried about it. You think I'm concerned? When the police take the speaker, the sticker, look at all the stickers on the speaker from them taking this stuff. I'm not worried about it. I went, you know, when they arrested me for preaching, I went back right in front of the precinct and preached. I'm not worried about it. It's a time they stoned Paul the Apostle. He went and preached. They crucified the master. But I'm not here just to talk about it. I'm here to tell you the good news and the bad news. You can choose life. There's no bad news for those that are in Christ. It's bad news when you don't know Christ. We weep at times. We moan. We cry for you. But I can save you. Jesus can save you. I can heal you. Jesus can heal you. I know people misrepresent God. I'm just telling you that the God of love is the judge. And you can come and receive the love of God. You don't have to be judged. You don't have to be condemned, but you're condemned. You gotta walk in love. You can't say you love God if you don't obey God. You need to know God and obey God. You're working. Are you gonna lose your job over what? Come on, man. Take it easy, man. It's ridiculous. But I understand this is pretty much daily what happens. I. That's what happens. People say amen. People say hallelujah. People say God bless you. And people curse you. So Jesus Christ you said, Jesus Christ said they hated him. The servant is not above the master. 
No, but I'm not here just to cause a ruckus and just tell you bad news and bad news. I'm not here to condemn you. You choose to be condemned. I want you to have life. He died for the Sodom. He died for the thief. Satan has an agenda. You can, you, you, you've offended God. You're an offender. You're on your way to hell, but you can turn to Jesus and receive life. Saul thought he was working for God. He was fighting against Jesus Christ. He went on to become the apostle Paul. You can come to the light. You can come to Messiah. You don't have to die and go to hellfire. It's nothing to sell you. I never asked for a penny. I'm not, I'm not, looking, not an entertainer. I'm just, just obeying the great commission to preach the word of God. Jesus came on a mission. And God sends the word of God. Some of you have a Bible. Number one bestseller, the Bible. You can know the author of these books. You can look to God. The goodness of God will draw you out of darkness. That crookedness, that perverse. But there's nothing to quench. There's nothing to break the curse. If you go to hell, there's nothing. The blood of Jesus Christ can't even break the curse for you in hell. It's too late. There's no fire escapes. There's no cliche. Jesus Christ is the only way. He's the truth and the life. Today is the day to be saved. Today is the day to call upon. If it's too late if you enter the gates of hell. But today you can receive the gift of God. It can be well for you. You can rejoice in God. God sent his son to die for you. God doesn't want you to go to hell. Hell was created for Satan and the fallen angels. But you hate God. You become devilish. You become foolish. It's ridiculous. Look at Kevin. He just wants to block. It's ridiculous. Like a little, like a rebellious little child. It's so ridiculous. You don't believe in God. You're so concerned about a guy talking on the microphone. It's so stupid. No, no. It's just, I love you, Kevin. No, no. I'm not mad. I love you. The people can still hear me. <laughs> Listen, you can hear me clearly. I know you can hear me. She was just agreeing with me earlier. You can hear me. You can hear me. You're not stopping me. It's a nice little echo going on the back wall over here. Hallelujah. Welcome to Times Square, New York City. It's time to seek Jesus. She shook her head. Yes, they can hear me. You ain't stopping me, Kevin. You foolery. But you're under the mastery of the devil. I understand. Your father's the devil. You've been born of your biological father, your biological mother, but God is not your father, but he can be. You can walk in liberty, you can walk in freedom, but you'd rather commit thievery and robbery and try to hinder me, but keep preaching freely. That's right. It's, it's even some of the security mean mugging me. Like, 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 you know what I mean? It's crazy. Looking at me like, like, they say mad dog at me. Look at me. What are you doing? Security? Or are you going to do a commit a robbery? What are you going to do? Come on. It's ridiculous. No, it's really, it's ridiculous. But it's prophecy. It's a sign of the times. They made a mockery of the son of the most high. They crucified him. I love you so much, man. The son of the living God died for sinful men. You don't have to be an enemy of God. You don't have to offend God. You don't have to commit robbery towards God. You can come to the kingdom of God. You can have peace with God, but there's only one way. All these religions today, they, really, they, 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 they lead to the gates of hell. Jesus is the way. The son of the living God, not the Mormon Jesus, not the Catholic Jesus. The Lord Jesus Christ, the living word of God, the light of life. He's the way. You practice idolatry, you, you've gone away from God. All have gone astray. And Jesus is the way. You can tell your iman today that Jesus Christ is the way. Tell your rabbi today. That's right. Jesus, I, I know I can't preach. I die in some countries right now. I could die shot dead right now under the wicked blasphemy laws. You can know the son of the living God. Some people claim to know Allah. You don't know God. If you don't come to the Son of God, you don't know God. You imagine, you imagine the ruckus if I go get my rainbow flag right now, Kevin. You think, you think this is something right now. If I start preaching under my rainbow flag. Ho, ho, you watch. You watch. This really going to get a little crazy up in this place. Buddy, your outfit is sin. My outfit is sin. This outfit is sin. Oh, you're a preacher. Are you judging me? Are you judging me? What am I supposed to do? Stand here in a fig leaf? How, how am I supposed to? My outfit is sin. This is what happens. It's just people, people are like, you're wearing sneakers. Like, what am I supposed to wear? 
Shoes? All right, I'm wearing boots. It's a sin. Your outfit is a sin. All of a sudden, you're, you're judging me, right, sir? You're judging me. Wow. Unbelievable. It's amazing. It's amazing. The wicked rapper goes to hell. All of a sudden, they say, rest in peace. The pornographer goes to hell. All of a sudden, they say, rest in peace. The thief goes to hell. All of a sudden, nice to meet you, sir. There's no rest for the wicked. He's judging me because I'm. your outfit is sin. Listen, man. You don't have to wear a three-piece suit. You got to dress, dress modestly. That's right. Not dressing you modest. But it's ridiculous. You got modern day, like modern day Pharisees. They couldn't see spiritually. Enemies of God. You provoke the fury of God, the jealousy of God. So Kevin, I'm going to go preach somewhere else, but I'll be back. I can let you know. You want me to let you know when I'm coming back? We can exchange numbers if you want. You sure? I'd love to take you for dinner. We could sit, no homo, but we could sit down and talk, you know? No? Oh, you're all homo? That's what I figured. I figured you're part of the Sodomite cartel. You're part of the alphabet cartel. This is exactly what I was talking about. So Kevin's a homo. Kevin, you can be a homo no more in Christ Jesus. Kevin, you don't have to be a Sodomite. That sounds like a hate crime. You don't have, no, that's not a hate crime. Not yet, Kevin. Not yet, Kevin. It's not a hate crime right now. No, no, this is not Canada. No, I said you can be a homo no more, Kevin. You don't have to be a sodomite dead in your sin. No, this is freedom of speech. Just because I offend you, the truth offends people. Jesus said they hated him because he told them their ways were wicked. But you can be alive in Christ. God made Adam and Eve, right? Steve came along one day, yeah. A womb to conceive. Out of a uterus, out of the womb of a woman, the son of the living God, the risen Christ. You can be alive in Christ. I don't hate you. I love you. I love everybody. I love the Sodomites. I love everybody. So like I said, if you ever want to go for dinner, Kevin, we could sit down and eat. Jesus was a friend of sinners, but he also warned them that they offended God and they were on their way to hell. They became saints or they fell away. That's right. That's right. It's the fake Christians that I won't eat with. No, no, but the Sodomite offenders, you can come to Jesus. Isaiah 45, 7, I, the Lord thy God, create both the darkness and the light. I create all things good and evil. Come from me. Okay. Quoting from Isaiah. Also, also, John 2, 3, the devil made me do it. Ah, uh, not exactly the devil. No, no, that's not exactly. You know that even God said to the devil that you made me do it when he was torturing the shit out of Job, so. Well. So the light of life is Jesus. The way, the truth, and life is Jesus. And you can trust this Jesus. It's time to go get the bullhorn because... Uh, <laughs> Glory to the Most High God. Glory to the light of life. Glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory and honor and praise. It's not hate speech. No, no. But there were things that God hates. Read about Sodom and Gomorrah. There were things that God hates. There were things that are an abomination. There are things that are abominable, that's right. Not just, not, no, fornication is not just the sin, lust, adultery. That's right. Biblically, you just can't marry and marry and marry multiple wives. No, that's done away. Hallelujah. But Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. So I figured it was the cartel tonight. But as a messenger of God, I love love my enemies love warns Paul said have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth but people hate Jesus they hate Jesus hate God godless wicked and perverse generation like a rabid beast but Jesus Christ is coming back to judge the nations and he can set you free there was a demoniac that was set free you don't have to be an enemy of God you can walk in the light of life you can have peace with God but it's only through Jesus Christ. So Jesus Christ said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. The light of life, the giver of life. Salvation is only found in the Christ. The Son of the living God gives life. <laughs> I'm so glad. I'm delighted that Kevin gets to hear the word of God, that I get to hear the word of God. I'm warning myself. I've judged myself. I'm encouraging myself. That's right.
Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. Hallelujah. You don't have to practice idolatry, thievery. Made in the image and likeness of God. It's time to walk with God. It's time to talk with God. Adam walked with God in the cool of the day. Jesus Christ has made a way that you might walk with God. That you might pray. That you might not be a slave to the devil. That you might turn from your wicked ways and pray. And call upon the name of Jesus. No longer treasonous, but trust in Christ Jesus. Alive in Christ, the resurrection and the life. The light of life. The giver of life reconciled back to God when you lay a foundation of repentance and trust the living God. Not a dead religion. What's your name, sir? Nothing on your bench. When you trust the Most High God, the Son of the Living God, but the devil's creeping. The devil was cre he crept in, and Adam and Eve and ate from the tree. Eve was deceived by the enemy. Satan used the serpent to deceive the man has died spiritually. But Jesus Christ defeated the enemy on a tree over 2,000 years ago. You can go to God. You can know that you know that you have life. You can trust the risen Christ. But it's only while your body's alive. The gift of God is everlasting life. If you die, it's too late. If you enter the gates of hell, there's no fire escapes. Jesus Christ is the light of life and he's made a way that you might be saved. Today's the day to pray. Stop hating God. Turn from your wicked ways. Turn to God. Seek the face of God. That God's grace might shine upon you. That's right. That God, the blessing of God might come upon you. When you come under the blood of Jesus. And you confess your sins and trust Jesus. When you're born again. You don't have to continue to defend God. You can trust God. You can rely on God's Son. He's mighty to save us. You can trust Jesus. God gave His Son. It's ridiculous that the guy, the dying go to hell when you can receive life. You don't have to continue to rebel. You can come to the light of life. You can enter the kingdom of God. You can be brought back to God. But you got to walk by faith and not by sight. That's right. You can walk in the light of life. You can have peace with God. You don't have to be an enemy of God. You can walk in the spirit of God. You can have peace with God. That's right. But there's no rest for the wicked. No. You need the mediator, you God haters. You fornicators, you need the mediator. You've offended God, his jealousy has been provoked. The cup of God's wrath. Hell smoke is burning, the infernal. But you don't have to go. Jesus Christ warned. He warned of hell. Men rebel, but you don't have to go to hell. You can come to the light of life, Jesus Christ. TDF. You can come to the Lord Jesus Christ. TDF. You can come to the, hallelujah, to the Son of the living God. <laughs> hallelujah. You can have peace with God, Yeshua. Tell your rabbi that Jesus Christ is alive, the fulfillment of God, the Messiah is alive. Read the book of Isaiah. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. Call upon the name of Yeshua, Messiah. Amen. Don't die. Amen. Don't die. And go to hell. Rely on God. Don't continue to rebel. Come to the light of life. Be reconciled back to God. Be brought back to God. Be bought with the price. Be ransomed of God. Come to the light. Receive life in Jesus. If there's anybody in the sound of my voice, Kevin, if you'd like to repent and get baptized in water. Hallelujah. I learned that from before. Become a son of God, not a daughter. Kevin, if you want to repent and get baptized in water. Become a son of God, not a daughter of God, a son of God. God knows the difference between his sons, between his children, but not everyone's a child of God. You need to come to the Son of the living God to receive life. You need to have peace with God through Jesus Christ. If there's anybody in the sound of my voice, seriously, if you want to repent and get baptized in water, in the name of the Lord Jesus. If you need prayer, we can call upon the name of Jesus. Sincerely, if you have a question before I go. That's right. Time to rejoice in the Lord. I'm here to let you know that you don't have to die and go to hell. You can turn 
Jesus. You don't have to cry in hell, but without Jesus, there's hell to pay. Jesus Christ is the Savior today, the way, the truth, and the life, the light of life, the giver of life. The only way to have eternal life, paradise. That's right, Jesus the Christ, the Son of the living God. Amen and hallelujah. Excuse me, Kevin, I'm going to move my speaker. You, yeah, you worked for the devil. You, you, yeah. you, did, you did your job. Not, not to be, you know, it wasn't unexpected. I figured that it would happen. I love you. I'm going to pray for you. Don't. It's all right. Oh, no, I'm going to pray for you. Pray that you repent. Pray that you walk with Jesus. I pray that you walk in the light of life. Yeah. So you're working right now, huh? They're paying you to, to, to block you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Who's paying you specifically? Broadway crew? Interesting. Well, it doesn't surprise me. Okay. No, it doesn't surprise me. Yeah. Officer 136. I love you, man. I love you. You're not angry with me, are you? All right. Well, Kevin, hopefully I don't have to show you my new bullhorn, but I'll be back with it if you're here. Enjoy, Kevin. You know, yeah. You got the noise canceling earbuds? Yeah, yeah. I understand. But you've been warned. It's not hate speech. It's love. It's love. No, you've been warned from God above in the Holy Scriptures that unless you repent, you'll perish. It's being recorded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Pray for Kevin, everyone. Please pray for him as God leads you. How long you been a sodomite? What's that? All right, Kevin, I love you, man. If you ever want to go for dinner, man, just let me know. Oh, uh, now you're asking me. I told you, it's not a date. I said, no homo, man. If you ever want to go for dinner, let me know, man. We can break bread. You can bring your Bible. I'll bring my Bible. We can, you know, we can reason together. Uh, we can search the scriptures. Yeah. I don't think you'll see eye to eye with me, though. I'm not going to see eye to eye. Do you believe in God at all? Yeah. Not at all. Did you ever believe in God? No. Not even as a child. You never believed in God. Oh. God gives men over to their debauchery, to their sin at times. So you can cry out to Him. Cry out to God. Turn from your sin. Cry out to Him. Be born again. Be forgiven. No, I know that you had the ear pods, and I want to make sure you hear loud and clear that you can come to God. You don't. No, no, I want you to hear me. You don't have to be under the wrath of God. You don't have to be under the anger of God. The fear of God. The no, come to Jesus freely. He died for humanity. Yeah, there was a thief that believed. So did he really die? He's coming back in second time. That's right. What if it's me? What it, what it's, what's you? What if I'm Jesus? If you're Jesus? No, Jesus never sinned. Jesus wasn't a sodomite. What did he die for? He died for sinners. He became sin. He never sinned. It's a great question. What did he die for? He died for you, Kevin. He came on a mission of love and mercy for men that were cursed for humanity. I meant for humanity, but not the way that you're preaching. So, tell me, what do you do to help humanity? Block them from evil people like you. You think I'm evil? From reading from the Bible, you hate you hate God that much, and just reading from the Bible doesn't mean it's good. For you. Really? I have friends that are homosexual. I do. Of course. 
course. They have no, I, I, I believe everybody deserves the rights to, to liberty and to, to have life. But there's no life without Jesus Christ. No natural life, of course. Natural life. Yeah, yeah, but there's no, there's no anus in hell, no sodomy in hell, no pornography in hell. No, 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 none of that's in hell. When do you think you're going to die? 